In recent years, SpaceX has met with a lot of problems in regard to the Starship Super Heavy. These issues have not only been costly to the company, but have resulted in a lot of delays for them. But finally, SpaceX has gone under a genius adjustment that could save the Super Heavy. Today, we will be talking about the amazing adjustment SpaceX undertook to save the 33 engines and the Starship Super Heavy in general. You must be wondering, what adjustment was needed in these 33 engines and the Super Heavy? Well, stick around till the end as we answer these questions and more as we delve into the complicated realm of the upcoming Starship. Without further ado, let us begin. As we all know, the spacecraft is the pinnacle of Elon Musk's SpaceX program and has a lot of potential. It's hailed to be the spacecraft that will finally reach Mars and finally take humans to a foreign planet where we might finally find a new home where humans can thrive. All this is thanks to its extensive technology and amazing engines. Speaking of the latter, these engines are the key behind the Starship's success as the Raptor engines are one of the most powerful engines you could find. Let me give you an example. When we compare the engine with the Saturn V, which famously carried out the Apollo missions to the moon for NASA, these Raptor engines generate twice as much power. This speaks wonders of the engine and opens up a lot of doors for space exploration. You must be thinking that this spacecraft is perfect and doesn't have any flaws, but that's not the case. There is a reason that its debut launch is being delayed again and again. This is due to a variety of problems. That being said, let us talk about the many issues that have affected the spacecraft, after which we can then talk about the genius adjustment you have all been waiting to hear. The primary issue of the spacecraft is the power generated by its engines. Yes, I'm talking about the Raptor engines. These engines are so powerful that it has led to adverse consequences. In spaceflight, we have to settle between power generation and control. We need power generation to attain the maximum thrust, which will help us achieve greater distances and less time in spaceflight. We need control over this power too, as more power is harder to control and can lead to destruction. Normally, spacecraft tend to limit their power as their goals are to reach the moon or the International Space Station. But this time, as SpaceX wants to reach Mars, this is quite far away. It cannot compromise on power. Here is where the real issue arises. Having a lot of power has led to a variety of problems. The extreme heat and energy being released by engines can lead to destruction. Sometimes the engines explode, but in most cases, the lower part of the rocket gets destroyed, as a lot of heat and fire is coming out. Besides the rocket ship itself, the surrounding structures are also heavily damaged. This is why not all 33 engines are activated, due to their negative effects. Yeah, many can argue that heat shields are put in place to counter this, but in most cases, they fall off due to the intensity of the blast. When they fall off, the rocket and the launch stand also get destroyed, which weakens the stability of the rocket. Lastly, as a result of the launch stand being destroyed, booster fuel leakage also occurs, which results in fuel wastage, and a risk of the leaked fuel being ignited, which results in further fire and damage. Fortunately, Elon Musk has a brilliant solution to all of these issues, allowing all 33 Raptor engines to launch flawlessly. Whether you believe him or not, it is worth investigating his engineering marvel. Let us now talk about the genius adjustment you have all been waiting for. Elon Musk isn't lacking inventions or ideas, and he's seriously thinking about utilizing the Starship's launch tower to grab Super Heavy before it touches down. That is one optimistic plan, and it might seem that it's not possible. But to be honest, we have seen Elon Musk do amazing things, and chances are, he'll pull this off too. In the not too distant future, the massive robotic launch and landing tower will literally be grabbing Starship rockets out of the air with chopstick arms. Elon Musk and the engineers at SpaceX came up with this extraordinary idea. But SpaceX is majorly working towards its self-interest with the new launch tower. One of the most ambitious components of a spaceflight project that is already breaking new ground is the Mechazilla launch tower. 
This Mechazilla tower will be among the greatest inventions in the space sector, because if everything goes well, then SpaceX will be able to conduct back-to-back -back Starship flights with the break of only an hour between the launches. The genius adjustment marvel is always there, but this launch tower is capable of much more. The thing is, when the Starship booster lights up to propel the whole mass into the air, many systems are working together. The risk of structures or mechanics of the booster getting damaged becomes low. But when the booster lands, with its engines still throwing flames out, the risk of damage becomes greater. And not only can the Starship or Super Heavy get damaged, but the orbital launch pad can as well. That's where Mechazilla comes into the picture. This launch tower is an absolutely brilliant piece of engineering, as it will catch the Starship and Super Heavy before their touchdown. Right now, there are so many concerns that are coming up. For example, what if the alignment of the Starship and Super Heavy gets a bit off? Because in that case, the chopsticks or landing arms will not be able to catch the structures, and this whole experiment can end up a massive disaster. It's a new idea, so concerns and speculations are natural things. But considering the past record of SpaceX, I am sure this Mechazilla launch tower system is going to be a success. Although, I don't think that they can have Starship launches every hour. All that heat and cooling down that area before getting ready for another launch? Yeah, right. But we'll see. I think I have explained everything there is to know regarding SpaceX's genius adjustment that led to the saving of 33 engines and the Starship Super Heavy. But if you're still confused or have any questions regarding the matter, do let us know in the comments down below. We value the feedback of our esteemed subscribers, so do not hesitate to do so. And I almost forgot, do let us know if you want any similar content in future videos. We're here for you, and we want to give you what you want. Until next time, we'll see ya.